This patch is my attempt to get as close as I could to the bell sound in Snowflakes Are Dancing. Uh, I did not listen to it before I started, and I listened to it after I was finished, and I'm not that close, but the spirit of Tamita is in this patch, so I hope you like it. First, flip the connect switch on your multiples. There are four destinations for your keyboard's control voltage. The first is the one volt per octave on your filter. If you have the three, go to the oscillators, one volt per octave. The second multiple is the gate, and we'll run each of those into the two envelopes we're using. Oscillator 1 is set to 32 feet, and we'll plug the triangle wave into input 1 of a mixer. Oscillator 2 is set to 16 feet. We'll take a triangle wave out of that oscillator and go to input 2. And from the mixer, we go into the 4-pole low-pass filter. Set frequency around 4 and resonance about 7. And from our filter to the VCA. Make sure it's in linear mode. Envelope 1 has the attack at 0, decay at 10, sustain around 5, and release a little bit past 7. And we're going to plug that into the VCA. Envelope 2 is going to eventually shape oscillator 2. Attack is at 0, decay is at 10, sustain is at 10, and it looks like we're a little bit under 8 on the release. And we're going to plug that into our attenuator. And then we plug the output of the attenuator into the linear frequency of oscillator 2. Our third oscillator is an audio range, and that goes into the FM input of our low-pass filter. And don't get too caught up on the tuning. Let it beat a little bit. Give it a little life. Then introduce the FM. Then bring in the tomato. This patch does not require an attenuator. If you patch the output of envelope 2 directly into linear frequency of oscillator 2, turn it down to around 3, you'll get a very similar sound. The reason I set the patch up this way is I wanted the ability to set a modulation point with the attenuator, but have the ability with the linear frequency response to have a, a way to show you before and after the modulation. So this is with. And without. When I'm finished making a tutorial based on someone else's work, what I like to do is return to the concepts that they had, but try to make it my own. Ultimately, this bell patch is very simple. It is the release of an envelope modulating an oscillator. So there's tons of variations that you could do. Um, what I did, I turned it into a very standard ARP 2600 ring mod patch. When you release the key, you get that nice sweep of ring mod. 